Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the DC Universe Classics Golden Pharaoh. I know absolutely nothing about this character, but it's a pretty cool figure and somebody asked me to review it, so here it is. He stands just about six and a half inches tall to the top of his head, a little bit taller to the top of that collar thingy. His staff that he comes with is just a little bit taller than he is. A little bit of painted detail on there. And he's a really unique figure. He has a lot of uh, unique parts, uh, parts that are sculpted for him, that is, like these boots, uh, the whole torso basically, this uh, belt sash thing, the wrist things, these, if they're wings, I don't know, those are cool looking though. Translucent purple plastic with painted black and gold and details that is translucent. His torso is translucent. And then this collar is translucent, so it's a really cool looking figure. And then they did this really nice gold for his arms and head and neck. Super shiny, super metallic, very cool looking. Lots of detail in this collar piece with this purple on top of the little tiny sculpted details. Just a really cool looking figure. Um, not necessarily my favorite design, but I appreciate the design elements in him. So I don't mind saying that it's a cool figure, even though it's not one that I would... Uh, ever bother looking into in terms of character story and that kind of stuff. He might be awesome, so if you like him, that's good. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's not my cup of tea, but still a cool figure. So in terms of articulation, the head, it moves around on the ball peg that's inside the head. It doesn't move forward or move around at all in the neck, so you can wiggle it up and down that way, a little bit side to side, up on the top of that neck peg there, and then of course you can rotate it around like that. I want to point out the paint job for the face. They put black around the eyes and that looks really cool on there. Shoulders are standard uh, DC Universe Classics ball hinges with the bicep swivel right there. Single jointed elbow gives you 90 degrees. Uh, wrist rotation for the fist hand, no problems there. This hand is made to hold his staff, so that's cool. He has a decent ab crunch. It doesn't have a great range of motion, but it does work, so that's okay. We have a waist twist above the belt. Standard DCUC hips, really stiff. In fact, they're not going right now. I'd have to pop those to free them up a little bit. But we do have a full range of motion aside from being frozen, probably just from having never been posed before. We have a thigh swivel hidden nicely amongst those sculpted details. Standard knee hinge gives you about 90 degrees. And then we have the standard ankle, which actually does have a good range of motion. So. Pretty good figure uh, from the DC Universe Classics line. Decent paint applications. Uh, lots of these little details are painted, like those rivets there, these lines here. You know, I pointed out the lines on the collar. Just looks pretty good. I mean, is it perfect? No, but it's a pretty cool figure. So if you like the look of the figure, then definitely pick it up. If you're a Golden Pharaoh fan, then I have to say I recommend this because they did a pretty good job. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.